our team is working really hard to kind of exchange, expand Jade's international reach. Right now, you can order Jade's from our website and get them pretty much delivered anywhere in the world. But the reseller program is really helping people get their Jade's faster, more reliable, um, less fees from customs, for example. Uh, they don't have to be paying that directly. And so it's going really well. Um, we've got at least 10, I want to say, by now and all over the world for the most part, Europe, Brazil. Um, and the response has been really, really cool. Um, I think people are excited to be able to get Jade's uh, you know, faster in their country. Um, and I mean, I'm excited to see where that goes. We're also working at warehousing internationally just to make sure Jade's more accessible to people. And again, Jade is a is a open source hardware wallet, so you can build it yourself if you want to. It can be DIY, and so even if you don't have a reseller near you, if you're far away, you don't want to order from our website, you can build your own Jade, um, which is really cool. So a lot of the uh, kind of East Asia region is really blowing up and getting a, a lot of demand and traffic there. I think that's something that, especially with the QR release, I know some users reach out to us and they said, they said, we use QR codes for a lot of stuff around here. So when that came out, everyone just was a natural fit. They said that this is this is the device for us. This is the one we want to use. Um, so that's been a really big market lately. It's, it's interesting to see that kind of, I don't know if we were expecting it, but once the release happened, that was a uh, been a big place for us.